My name is Garrison Rad. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and I'm a T12 paraplegic. Hi, my name is Kylie Grimes. I live in Farnham, Surrey, and my disability is spinal cord injury at C5-6 level. My name is Alvin Ace, and I'm from Cape Town, South Africa. I'm a T8 paraplegic. Kirk Williams here, coming at you from Colorado, USA. I'm a C6-7 quadriplegic. My name is Ben Clark, and I'm a quadriplegic from the United Kingdom. Hello everybody, my name is Anna Sarole. I was born and raised here in the United States and I am a T10 complete spinal cord injury survivor. Hey, I'm Tina Pesendorfer. I'm from Austria and after an accident in 2007, I'm a paraplegic TH9 complete. Hi, my name is Helen Fincham. I'm 25 and I'm from Wales. At the age of 21, I woke up completely paralyzed and I'm now a quadriplegic thanks to transverse myelitis. My advice to somebody it would be not to be afraid to say yes. Um, and what I mean by that is to travel, to say yes to travel, to say yes to trying new sports, uh, to meeting new people, to getting outside, exposing yourself. Um, for me, since I broke my neck, I've been scuba diving. I've traveled all over the world. I've built a camper van that's allowed me to see places that are technically not accessible. Um, I've gotten into wheelchair rugby, which is what this shirt is. Um, I've made tremendous friends. I have a service animal. You know, when in doubt, try it out, uh, is kind of my saying. And that was always the case before my accident, but especially more so afterwards. I think it's very important. Um, to push yourself a little bit and you'd be surprised uh, how comfortable you get in your own skin once you get out there and try new things. So anyway, I hope this helps. Good luck. See you down the road. My advice in life is to never give up on your hopes and dreams no matter what obstacles lie ahead. It's important to focus on the positive sides of your life and there are a lot, even with a disability. So try to find your purpose or your passion and stick to that and always keep your head up high even if the times are tough because then you can see how beautiful life can be. Uh, focus on what you can do. So my slogan uh, for my charity work is what you can do matters because I always focused on what I, could, what I couldn't do. It was always about what I couldn't do. Now I started to focus on the things that I can do no matter how small they are. My mindset, my life, everything has improved. And don't be ashamed of who you are. Don't be embarrassed. Be proud of who you are. And if you're ever at any point hiding your disability, just remember that all that hiding of your disability, it takes a lot of energy to do that. I found over the years that I'd hid my disability, which had affected my mental health because I'd been putting so much energy into hiding my disability, pretending it wasn't there, pretending to my friends that I could do this and I could do that when I couldn't. Um, it, it basically just made my life 10 times harder. As soon as I released that, I gave myself freedom, um, the freedom to express myself, the freedom to be who I am, um, and the freedom to be proud of having a disability. I've always had a mantra, um, and that's been that my spinal cord injury will fit into my life, not control my life, um, and it's one thing I live by. So basically, when you're in the rehabilitation centre and you're, you know, you're learning to live again, Listen to their advice, take their advice, you've got to learn everything, but when you get home, find what's right for you. Um, think outside the box. If problems occur, then just think again, and think again, just keep going. You know, um, if you want to live traveling, exploring the world, doing everything that we are still able to do, even with our disabilities, I just think that you've got to, you know, change, adapt, and find ways that are gonna suit you so that you can keep living and keep seeing the world. And my life's advice would be that there is always hope. So when I just got injured six years ago, I looked at this disability, at this situation, at paralysis, at my wheelchair, and I thought, how am I able to move this mountain? How am I able to, to slay this giant that is paralysis? 
because this was my worst fear. And before I knew it, that mountain started moving. But the question is, how did it start moving? And that's just to tackle it one day at a time. So don't make your decision based on your perspective of day one. Just take it day by day and before you know it, your mountain is going to start moving. But the most important part is that you have to do your part. You have to keep on pushing and keep on showing up every single day. And the second thing is, there is always hope. No matter how dark and gloomy your situation may look, I thought my life is over that day that I got paralyzed. I thought I might as well just give up. But the truth is, there is always hope. I want to leave this one life advice for everyone who is watching this, and that is to prioritize and practice self-love on a daily basis. I feel like that's one of those areas that not a lot of people are taught very early on, and it is shown throughout their entire lifespan. And when adversity hits, a lot of them lose themselves in the process and become strangers to themselves. But I wanted to come up on here and just remind you that the more you know somebody, the better you can love them. And same goes with yourself. My life advice would be, life is like lemonade. Sometimes in life, you're thrown as sour fruit and it's up to you to make that sour fruit a sweet and refreshing beverage. Um, I think a lot of times people, we are concerned about the things that we can't do and not the things that we can do. We often see the glass as half empty instead of half full. That's why I always try to reiterate, you have to become comfortable with being uncomfortable in order for your life to take off. Follow me on Instagram, Garrison Red, and stay strong. So if I was to give one piece of life advice, I think it would be to choose happiness, not to chase it. I think too much in life we get pressure from outside sources, friends, family, internet, whatever it might be, that we have to have a fancy job so we can pay for a nice car, a nice house, material possessions, going on fancy holidays to exotic locations. But are these the things that really make you happy or is it the people you're spending time with friends family partners whoever it might be making that relationship something that is truly awesome that makes you feel loved and belonged and the other thing to when you self-improve as well you know making yourself better making yourself do stuff that you're super proud of that you really absolutely love that makes you get out of bed in the morning super excited and ready to start the day if I was to sum that up in one phrase, I think it would be this. There is no path to happiness. Happiness is the path. Simple. My life advice would be is don't give up. Don't give up hope that life and things will get better because they will, they do, it happens. Don't give up on them small goals. Don't give into your mind battling demons and depression. Just don't give up. I know for me at the start of my injury, I thought my life was over. I thought I'm never gonna live the same way as I did before. I failed over and over and over. But as the years have got on, things have got easier and life's got better. I've pushed through and where I am now compared to five years ago, I honestly never thought I'd get here. That's because I didn't give up. I tried and failed so many times. What may work for one person may not work for another, but then you'll find another person that's found a different way of doing it, and then that works for you. I'm just grateful for social media and the community and everyone that's encouraged me. And even I'm grateful and thankful to myself that I didn't give up, so I can be here today and hopefully inspire others to keep going and just know that in time things do get better, as long as you put the work into it. very much for watching guys and a huge thank you to every single person that was in this video they couldn't have been done without them they are amazing people and you should definitely follow them by clicking on their social media links in the description down below I believe me you will not regret it they are really really cool people but if you did like that video be sure to give me a thumbs up then subscribe because I want to make more videos like this I think it was really good and it's really fun to collaborate with other people so do that but for now I'll see you next time.